Well, little question, but this is the box office game Hello at this everybody, level today. Thank you for to joining us. Match. You've made a very good choice. There's so much resting on the game. It should be a cracker. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena. Absolutely perfect for a game. It's Salah! A real chance and a real let-off. Mohamed Salah just had too many bodies around him. He would have done remarkably well to score from there. Well, there's the man we're all here to see, the thriller minute Neymar. He really does turn every game into a showbiz occasion. So Chance! What a wonderful goal! Well, once more, it's him. And we can't be surprised because his instinct for doing this is incredible. Yeah, great movement and great use of space to get on the end of the pass, and that pretty much did it. Paris Saint-Germain penetrate first. It is a truly precious lead. They still can't get carried away. They haven't been promoted just yet. That looks a decent ball. Oh, that's nice. Oh, the shot could be on here. Ter Stegen can pick that up. Rodrigo. Oh, good read. He's done very well to get to that. Well, you get a sense, Peter, that he could almost get to anything today. And we have our very first corner. Paris Saint-Germain can start a counter here. Oh, that's fabulous. Messi takes control of it and he's on the move. And Messi! And that is doing no harm at all. Messi certainly showed terrific balance and control to go past his markers, but not with the finish. Neymar. Pitches it off him. Somewhat off target. Now it's Rodrigo. If they want to counter, they could do with more speed. Shapes to shoot! It's a goal! Two to the good! They have breathing space! There was no getting to that. No getting to it at all. Expertly done. That's expertly finished, and he's done that so often. Paris Saint-Germain get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Musiala. Oh, well played, well sorted out. Now, what about a counter-attack? He won't be happy with that one. Fiddles it through. Picked out brilliantly. Great chance! And kept out by the most elastic of saves. Really anticipated that well, didn't he? Two added minutes has been indicated. And he's intervened well there. Aims beyond the defence. He's picked his way through. Well, he got rid because he was under pressure. And the first half is done. How to look back on the first 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their the first half success with a, another show of strength? Paris Saint-Germain sitting pretty here at half-time. 2-0 up. That gets things going for the second half. So both teams emerge the same as they were before the break. And Dyke gets across to intercept that. Musiala 
Oh, that's a key interception. Shifted it to the flank. Mbappe. He's free. He has got Mbappe. Oh, that was the perfect shimmy to create the space for the shot. He's got tall. Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Yeah, it's good movement, though. A bit unlucky he couldn't actually steer it goalwards. And that's been one straight back. You can never be short of runners in the space, as long as the space left behind is filled. Musiala, well seen, saw that coming. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. <laughs> Defending of the match. desperate variety. Paris Saint-Germain, corner number two then. They've played it short. Now it's Messi. Alvarez. Skillfully cut out. He is so at ease on the ball. Luciana. And here's Messi. And the shot! Well, that is commitment to the cause. Corner number three coming up. And it's been taken short. Messi! And it's there! And the lead is three! It is surely done! That really was a thing of beauty, curled in effortlessly. Oh, that's a measured delight. The curly applied was immaculate. Paris Saint-Germain find a position of real strength now. Messi. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. And smartly reclaimed. Has a look and has a go. Now it's Rodrigo. Now it's Messi. And he's got the beating of his man. There's the shot! That was quite a test for the goalkeeper. Yeah, they got away with it, but that was a, a defensive letdown to see him march through like that. Paris Saint-Germain get their fourth quarter. They've played it short. Messi... He's quick to get it clear again. Oh, nicely intercepted. It's the sort of situation that they'll want to capitalise on now. And it's Neymar. Kane. Now it's Mohamed Salah. Short changes him with that pass. Oh, important interception. Ed Milson. And that interception was most necessary. De Bruyne! Oh, added minute has been indicated. And that is wildly off target. No unnecessary risks, and the game is petering out here. No, that's been intercepted. Kimmich threads one in. So that's it, it is all over. A win, a triumph, a time to crank up the music, charge the glass.
This is going to be quite a party. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Paris Saint-Germain really deserve full marks to have come through such a difficult game in the manner they did. There's always a, a feeling that the fear of losing is what ultimately decides games like this. But not on this occasion. They played the game and the occasion beautifully.